Andre Onana has raised eyebrows following his unusual tactics during Manchester United's penalty shootout victory over Arsenal. The Red Devils faced off against their Premier League rivals in a friendly ahead of the 2024-25 season, and while they lost the match 2-1, Eric Ten Hag's side emerged victorious through a separate penalty shootout. A lot of credit for that can go to the goalkeeper, who deployed some unusual tactics to get inside the heads of the Arsenal players taking spot kicks. It worked too, with United winning the shootout 4-3 after two of Mikel Arteta's men missed their attempts. Onana taunted the Arsenal players. He pointed to where they should aim. Keepers have got to have a tough mindset when it comes to penalty shootouts. Getting inside your opponent's head can be the difference between coming out on top and losing one of the contests. Aston Villa and Argentina number one Emiliano Martinez has proven in the past how successful you can be when you deploy mind games in a shootout, and that's what Onana did against Arsenal. The United man taunted several of his opponents, telling them where to aim their spot kicks before they took them. While the effectiveness of Onana's tactics can be questioned, Arsenal did miss two of their attempts to help the Red Devils pick up the shootout victory. It didn't work with Gabriel Magalhaes, though, who was seen telling Onana to be quiet after putting his own attempt past the Cameroonian. Watch the clip below. Gabriel's penalty wasn't enough to give his side the win with United coming out of the shootout with a 4-3 victory. Jadon Sancho, who was on loan at Borussia Dortmund last season following a public fallout with Eric Ten Hag, converted the winning penalty. Arteta's side will at least take solace from the fact that they won the initial match, though. While United won the shootout, the initial match had a very different result. After Rasmus Hoyland gave Ten Hag's men the lead inside the first 10 minutes, Gabriel Jesus equalized just over 15 minutes later. It was a tightly contested affair from that point onwards, until Gabriel Martinelli's strike in the 81st minute put the Gunners in front. Despite the overall victory, it was a disappointing day for United, with Hoyland and new signing Lenny Yoro both being replaced during the contest after they picked up injuries. While Euros doesn't appear to be too serious, the initial reports suggest that Hoyland's was related to his hamstring and will have the Red Devils faithful a little concerned as the new season approaches. Having recently been handed the number 9 shirt at Old Trafford, the former Atalanta man has a huge campaign ahead of him, and this isn't the most auspicious way for things to get started. The right-back situation in Man UTD needs addressing with the club seemingly looking to find an upgrade on Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Despite being heavily involved in preseason, the English defender might be leaving the club. Defensively, the 26-year-old is right up there with the very best in the world. He might even be the best defensive right-back in the modern game but football has moved in a different direction and the club want a more attack-minded profile. For example, Diogo Dalit is the perfect embodiment of a modern-day fullback. He is excellent going forward, can overlap and underlap and is also equally capable of playing at left-back. A case can be made for the Portuguese international being Man Utd's best player last season. According to today's edition of La Gazeta dello Sport news image provided below, Man Utd have identified Nusser Mazraoui as a potential upgrade on Juan Bissaka. We covered a story yesterday stating that the Red Devils are closing in on a move for the £132,000 a week Bayern star. The report adds that Man Utd's other target for the position, Denzel Dumfries, has agreed a new deal until 2028 with Inter Milan and could stay at the club. This has forced the English club to pivot towards the ex-Ajax star. Gazeta claim United, Orbit, agent, Rafaela Pimenta, who is pushing the Bavarian defender to move to Old Trafford. Ten Hag has previously worked with Mazraoui, which makes him an eligible signing for Man UTD. The club have shown a tendency to either sign Dutch players or players who have worked under the Dutch coach previously. Mazraoui has failed to convince since his move to Bayern but the German club have had a tumultuous couple of seasons with a general lack of stability. The Moroccan international is versatile and can play at both right and left back. Would Mazraoui be an upgrade on Juan Bissaka? He would be better than the Englishman in certain aspects but a downgrade in some other facets. Is that enough for Man UTD to make a move for him this summer? Time will tell us that answer.
Manchester United suffered a double injury blow in preseason with Lenny Yoro and Rasmus Hoyland limping off in a friendly defeat to Arsenal. The Red Devils were beaten 2-1 by their Premier League rivals in Los Angeles overnight. Hoyland had given Man United the lead after just 10 minutes after racing through to meet a Marcus Rashford through ball, before slotting home through goalkeeper Carl Heinz's legs. Just five minutes later, however, he was limping off. United's new £52 million signing Euro was also a first-half casualty as he went down off the ball and was straightaway taken off. We have to wait 24 hours and then we will hopefully know more, Ten Hag told MUTV. Advertisement. We were very careful, especially with Lenny. It is disappointing he had to come off but let's be positive and see what comes out. Speaking after the match, Johnny Evans said, Every injury is different, muscle injuries aren't great either. Advertisement. I think Rasmus hinted at his hamstring, I'm not sure about Lenny. Gabriel Jesus went on to score an equalizer for Arsenal after 25 minutes, before Gabriel Martinelli got the winner 9 minutes from time. The two teams did go on to play a pre-arranged shootout, with Jadon Sancho netting the winning spot kick in a 4-3 penalties triumph. The injuries will leave a bitter taste in the mouth for manager Ten Hag, who saw the 2023-24 season wrecked by injuries. Man United suffered 45 separate injury cases last season, the most ever recorded over the last 20 years. There were 21 different players who missed a combined 1,620 days. That's really too much. We are not the only team that struggled with injuries, other clubs had the same, he told the Dutch daily Alhamein Dagblad in July. Last season we had constant injuries for players in the same positions, all at the back. At one point we had almost no defenders available. When we started here, United hadn't won a trophy for six years and it really wasn't because they didn't have good managers here. It does say something about the composition and quality of the player group. I knew that when I started, of course, but they were players with long-term contracts. We were and still are in that process of building. If you compare our squad with other top clubs in the Premier League, we are certainly a bit less in terms of depth. That is exactly why we found it so difficult to deal with those injuries. Losing Euro and Hoyland to injury is not the ideal preparation for the 2024-25 campaign.